Sean. How are you? I'm Sophia Soto with the Nerds of Color. Hi, Sophia. Very nice to meet you. I'm good. How are you doing? Nice to meet you, too. I'm so great. I'm really excited to speak with you. The Goldbergs is just comedic gold, and you bring such laughs and heart to our screens every week. So I'm so thrilled to get to speak with you about it. Well, that's very sweet. I, I'm, I'm excited to talk with you. So what can you sort of tease about what's coming up for the remaining episodes of this season? Um, well, there's, well, there's definitely some more Jerrica stuff that needs to unfold. Um, <laughs> as I'm sure you, as you, I'm sure you can guess, I guess. Um, and then, um, I know tomorrow, I'm not sure when, uh, uh, there's going to be some hijinks with some senior pranks and things. Yeah, and we're doing the roller skating, I believe, tomorrow as well, right? Based on that promo pics, I think. Yes, so. yeah. yeah. A little throwback to episode two or whatever. Daddy yeah, daughter. Daddy day. daughter day. Yep, <laughs> that'll always be fun. Definitely. Yeah. So some some fun, uh, uh, crazy crazy finale and a lot of fun stuff. Um, you have paid tribute to so many classic films over the years. Do you have a favorite that you guys have done? And is there any you want to do in the future? Hopefully, fingers crossed, season nine. Hopefully. Um, yeah, um, we've done quite a bit. Um, the two that I really had so much fun, well, I had fun with them all, but early on we did Goonies and Ferris Bueller's Day Off. And that was when we were just starting out doing the the tribute episode kind of things. And so those just really stood out as huge episodes. And we did a lot of traveling, especially for the Ferris Bueller one, and then had a bunch of friends on the, the Goonies. So I think those were two, two of my favorite. Um, yeah. It's funny. Troy said the same thing for Ferris Bueller. And we were talking about how amazing the episode came out. Like even that final scene with you recording and, him on the on the float at homecoming. Oh my gosh, you guys did such a great job with it. Well, thank you. Yeah, yeah. I I think it stands out as like one of the best episodes. I I, I love rewatching that one. And yeah, that's funny. He said it too. Yes, yeah. and he mentioned the Goonies too. It was pretty funny. Oh my gosh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Must be something about those early episodes, like you know. Great, and you can go back and watch them and still laugh however many years later still oh my gosh and uh do you have a favorite 80s trend that you'd want to bring back in 2021 well you know I, there are, are still a couple of them around but i love the whole arcade thing like that's kind of fun yes. yeah you know? i love when you when you bring that set when you're like at the arcade it reminds i liked going to the arcade when i was younger yeah. so i miss that <laughs> <laughs> I'm just curious what was one of your games did you ever uh oh I loved Pac-Man that was one of my favorite games to play um, I loved that yeah I I see those like um one of my cousins has the actual arcade games that go in your house and you could have the machine I want one of those so bad oh man yeah I'd probably spend too much time on it but it'd be good <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> definitely one of my favorite aspects of the show personally is that family is such an important theme on the show. You guys just do a great job driving that home every single episode and it's a really beautiful thing to see on screen. What message do you personally hope families watching this together take away from it? Um, uh, that's a great question and um, I just, I, yeah, I think there's something about just seeing like a, a family that's pretty that's really close like the Goldbergs on screen it's just kind of a nice example to be seen so I don't know if, like a specific takeaway but I think just seeing that and um and then having something that people can relate their dynamics with their siblings with and um with their like older sister or older brother and um yeah I like I know per personally growing up it was kind of nice to learn messages and stuff from uh some of the abc shows that i watched growing up and so being a part of one i love that whole aspect is that some kid can watch and be like oh that's the next step in my life could be similar to adams or similar to barry so yeah something along those lines it's definitely one of those shows that you know i feel like it's really rare for families to all be able to watch a show together and enjoy it 
and the Goldbergs is really that show. Like everyone in the family can find some aspect to enjoy and laugh at, which is so special, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's cool. Awesome. Um, do you have any top favorite Adam moments, either due to the comedy aspect or the meaning behind it or anything else? Um, well, yeah, usually my favorites are the ones that are like based off the real Adam, because then it just feels like, because we never would get, we never get to see him before, um, before the episode airs, like his home movie. So we get to do something and then it's like, oh yeah, that's exactly what we just did. But, but Adam, like as a character, um, Well, I know the ones that stand out are um, like that, the first kiss moment on that end of the season, the first season or whatever, that was like, there was some anticipation building up. I know in, my, in, in me, when I, got, I saw that was scripted and everything, um, and, uh, and that was like a pivotal thing for Adam. Um, uh, oh, I, 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 I like that. I like that one. The one moment where he finds out he's he might not be the funniest guy, but he can be the nice guy or something. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was funny. Yearbook, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. The yearbook. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. There's there's so many. Also, also, anytime making a movie and making the home movies, um, and getting to wear those crazy costumes, I I. I like I lucked out with the, this character just being able to wear like RoboCop Transformers. You can just wear like they've made the craziest costumes for the show. And out take of car. one of them. You should yeah. take one of them home. <laughs> I, yeah, I've never. I haven't wore like I don't even know where they go. They kind of just disappear. But you're right. I should really track one of them down. One of them. I'm still sitting there, which I've seen that, but. Oh, actually leads into my next question. If you were allowed to take anything at all from set, what would it be and why? Well, I did think about it. And I would have to say, um, I, I'm not sure who's called dibs on what, like if that already has happened, but <laughs> it would be like the glasses, the watch or the, or the video camera, because those are just well, like. That would be, yeah. Those are like Adam's. <laughs> Yeah. Trademarks. Yeah. I've gotten, I have to say, I've gotten some interesting answers from you, Wendy, and Troy. It's, I love hearing the different answers. <laughs> well, I'm going to have to, I, I'm, I'm going to have to watch those interviews. I definitely just to hear what they, Troy said he'd take uh, the chair. <laughs> the, the Murray chair? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Great choice. I mean, of everything that's pretty iconic and I said that was pretty that was pretty funny and Wendy said the hamburger phone your hamburger phone in the room that's what she said yeah wow <laughs> I, I wouldn't I guess that. that was my favorite question to get to ask you all because you all came up with such great answers <laughs> that's, wow that's surprising <laughs> and Troy wow. had that right on he was like I want Murray's chair I'm like oh my gosh that was that was hilarious <laughs> <laughs> no, that chair just like no matter what height you are I just think it fits any person like it's the comfiest chair I, I, I'm you guys gotta so who sits in it when you guys are taking a break from filming does Jeff take that chair over or do you guys get your turn well usually like usually if we're like we don't really hang around in that spot especially not with COVID now but oh, yeah. yeah but definitely. in between I'm trying to like in between some scenes or like if you run out of the scene like to go to the den at the end so like I usually just go to the couch because it's almost like it almost feels like my dad's chair like you don't <laughs> sit in your dad's chair but but um but no I think we've all taken turns on it but probably Jeff would probably sit in there yeah that that is my favorite question I've gotten to ask I think all of you because you guys came up with really creative answers but I love the video camera I would that's like Adam's thing you got to take that yeah, it's from the first episode. It's been kind of one of the things. So yeah, exactly. Is it the same camera? Have you guys used the same camera the entire time? 
I think so. I think there's, we did one, what throws me off is there was one random other camera, but no, I think it's, I think it's the same one. And there's, yeah. there's two cop, there's two of them. Um, yeah. And so it's pretty much been the same one. <laughs> That's what you got to take. Oh my gosh. You'll have to let me know when, when the show ends, hopefully in a long, long time years. away, but you guys all got to let me know what you do. <laughs> <laughs> I will, I will. Definitely. Um, the show really brings audiences back to the 80s, which is such a fun thing to see, definitely between the music and the outfits, everything. Is there anything you wish that you could see Adam react to that wasn't part of the 80s? Um, well, I mean, yeah, I, I'd be curious. Um, like specific, like are you like like specific things? I think yeah. So maybe any movies, any. I said it would be so funny to see like you guys react to like homeschooling for COVID. Have all three of you in the same house <laughs> doing <laughs> remote learning? Could you imagine? <laughs> I'm not sure if it would work, but you know that you're right. That would be. That would be pretty amusing. I said, I was thinking for Adam, you know, superheroes, all that. I would love to see him do like Avengers Endgame, like that cinematic experience, going to the totally theater to see one of those. Yeah. You know, I haven't really talked to the, to the real Adam about that. Like, I, I, but yeah, I'd be curious about definitely Endgame because that was just, even the graphics in any of the new superhero films, like, oh my gosh, I feel like that would be, he would be in all his glory going to the theater. Sure. This is definitely his time, like, like all the nerd culture just became like super exactly. cute. And, and then Star Wars came back twice since. Yes. The Mandalorian. And the Mandalorian. There you go. Yeah, so, um, but yeah, I, I think you're right. I think Marvel would be the most interesting seeing what he would think of that. Definitely. I feel like he'd be in his glory with everything. Everything's so new and, and fresh and come a long way, definitely. You can see the Millennium Falcon at Disney now, at Disneyland. Oh my God. I've been dying to visit. I live in New York, so it's a trip, but I'm, I know they're doing the whole uh, Marvel world, the campus at Disneyland. So, yeah, so, I'm like a, so excited. Yeah. Well, who's your, who's your favorite superhero? I have to say Thor, Spider-Man, or Loki. Loki's not a superhero, but he's one of my favorites. I can't, <laughs> can't say anything. I didn't realize he's got such like a, he's got like a really strong fan base. Like uh, His show, I know they're doing like time travel for that, I think. I think they're doing time travel. You could never tell. I mean, I don't know if you saw WandaVision, but oh, oh my I gosh. Wild. Oh, that storytelling like as a viewer that was like so amazing to see it was so different from anything I'd seen so they're doing something cool with these shows yeah I, do, I love old sitcoms so like getting to be with them for that was very fun yeah, you should have the Goldberg should have done a crossover with WandaVision you two could have went on each other oh, <laughs> the Disney synergy team or whatever there's an opportunity there there you go black it you could have done the black and white Goldbergs you could have done <laughs> That's a sitcom. There you go. Yeah. Have, have Wanda Maximoff walk through the dining room. <laughs> and oh my gosh, her and Beverly, they could be uh yes. be like strolling down the street and like she could teach her all the recipes in her book. <laughs> to oh, cook. Yeah. yeah, she makes shrimp parm with the wave of her finger or whatever. Uh, that's okay. That's what you need to bring to whoever needs to be having that conversation. Get <laughs> Get them all on the Goldberg set. That could be the season nine premiere. I like it. Yeah. I like it a lot. <laughs> Wanda could could show Adam the future a little bit. Show him everything that's coming for Marvel. You're, you're, you're gonna make a show about the yeah. family. <laughs> Definitely. Oh my gosh. Well, Adam represents the nerd in all of us. I'm a nerd, as you could tell from that conversation. I'm a big nerd. Is there anything that? Yeah, <laughs> is there anything that you and him are both a fan of like comic books certain superheroes video games anything like that pretty much like pretty much all of the above like I even collected um like my brother and I collected garbage pail kids 
And because those came back, they well, they came back in like wacky packages or something, which was I, and, and then like my ringtones, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I love Star Wars. Love that. <laughs> Everything was kind of lining up, and I kind of just got really into John Hughes movies right before I knew I I was before I even auditioned for this. So things were like my interest really linked up with Adam, which was a huge help because a lot of the times when the thing came up in the script, I was like, "Thank goodness I actually know this." <laughs> it aligned perfectly. There you yeah. go. <laughs> I can imagine that's the best sort of role for you when you feel like you can actually like be like oh I love that too oh I can bring that to this it's yeah it's totally it, bring out your impression of C-3PO or something I'm like I, I already got one well I wanted to know if there were any specific I know you've been you know the show is eight seasons so I'm sure you have a bunch but are there any funny memories or special stories uh from filming that is like one of your favorite memories from the show um that's yeah there, that's a tough one um yeah there th yeah that's a tough one I know like it's always um like it's a lot of fun whenever the whole group is together um it's and I know like some some of those like the season season finales um yeah, I don't, I, yeah, I, I, that's a really tough one. I, it just like, um, I might have to come back to you on that. Listen, you, I said it to everyone and they all sort of said the same thing you did when you guys are all together as a group for like either the dinner scenes or anything like that. So I could have, I would love to be a fly on the wall on those scenes when you guys, <laughs> I could imagine those are like the best moments because you guys, seem like a family on screen I could imagine off screen you guys are making each other laugh and and having the best time like I'm for the most part I'm I'm kind of like just an, I'm kind of more an audience like I'm not usually a joke teller or something like that so <laughs> I'm just yucking it up like just getting like because like that like sometimes Wendy gets going and then she just starts dancing and then Haley will jump in start dancing and then like everyone will start singing and then and then other times it'll be like Jeff gets Troy going and then they're they're talking about some something and then they start making me believe that there's some like they made me believe that there was some lady from from I don't know Sony or ABC that was going to talk to me because I was in trouble and so I was oh like, my oh, God. but it was it was so made up but they wouldn't they wouldn't like drop it so i they thought were convincing. it was very convincing <laughs> they were driving it home they were they using were. their acting skills yeah they're great actors so <laughs> they can pull it off <laughs> yeah so it's it's just um yeah it's been a lot of fun especially with um the and and the crew and everybody it just like they a lot of them stuck around the whole time so amazing definitely um, you really, you were the youngest when you started this show and you really grew up on this show. How, like, what was that like for you? What was that experience like? And how has it helped you as an actor? Um, well, I think just, um, getting able to spend time with, um, spending time with the actors that are on the show, um, that's helped me, uh, with my, with my acting. Um, but growing up on it, I don't, I don't know. It's, um, it was, it's, it was kind of different. And then I, it, yeah, there was definitely some awkward seasons there. <laughs> Couldn't get around that, but, um, but it was just like, Adam was always super cool about everything. And, um, yeah. And he kind of like made sure they wouldn't ever get too awkward or anything. Like he called me up before each season, like, so we're planning on doing this kind of thing. And just know, like, this is from my, like, this is what I went through. So, like, let's just do it. Like, it'll be, help people and something. And and so I, I wasn't even thinking anything, like, I wasn't being anxious or nervous about it going in. But he, like, made sure I wasn't just by calling me up. So that was cool. And then, uh, but growing up on it, too, is kind of interesting playing, like, 
like playing a character for 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 a couple for for some years then you're kind of like growing um like two two characters like myself and then the characters growing so then you become kind of like the character too i don't know there's there's some uh, there's some analysis that might need to happen just because it might be interesting maybe only for me but but yeah it's 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 been fun like met a bunch of close friends and feel really close to them and i love the show um but um but yeah it's kind of interesting too i guess just growing up on and the audience grows up with you guys too. We're going yeah. through the same things the characters are. It, it makes it perfect, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yeah. When audience can link up, it's, it's exactly. When you follow a show, you get to you get to grow with it and you grow as a person. You see the characters grow and it's definitely, definitely nice. You kind of touched on this next question, you know, uh, by saying that everyone around you has sort of helped your acting. Is there a specific piece of advice you got from any of your co-stars that you sort of hold near and dear and take, you know, as a life motto or something? Um, a lot of it is, is learning. It's a lot of it's like learning by example and seeing their timing and seeing how they prepare in the trailer before and, um, but um yeah advice some stuff that like going in that i didn't know like like the looking at the mark thing i thought it was kind of okay to kind of just like glance at it and stuff so then like they're kind of telling me that stuff to like be more casual about that and um then look in the inside eye and which i guess is stuff that a lot of people have heard um but they were the ones that taught me that kind of thing and um yeah and i know uh well some advice that really really helped me was just like when they say just really know your line like just go over your line so much that that when you're there you're just free to just do it and um um yeah which that that one really helped me because if you're tripping up on your line you can't act that much um and uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I guess that's all I got right now. I give you major props because I feel like I would never be able to memorize so many lines. <laughs> so major props because that piece of advice I'm sure like helped you because I can only imagine having to go over the script over and over and over again to like really nail that performance. And you guys do, you always, you guys always do, so. Well, I appreciate that. I, yeah, I think something about the, it's intimidating with the memorizing the lines, but I think once you do like a, like a couple days of it, then it's almost like you're, you're like, okay, then you know what to expect. It's like, I feel like you could it do works it. works for you. <laughs> you <laughs> Do you have any comfort episodes or ones you never get sick of watching because you're laughing over and over and over again? Um, the pilot. I really love the pilot. Um, um, I like the one, I, I like the atom bomb episode where Barry and I get to feud. Um, I love the the Erica breakup episode where <laughs> she's you know I think I the, know, age of, the age of darkness or something like that <laughs> that one I yeah I love that one um oh and then the ring I think the ring I, I'm pulling a lot of them from season one but I think but but that that one where they find the the letters to the other woman or yeah. to the other lady I just saw that one recently, actually. <laughs> yeah. you know I, <laughs> to Murray's ex fiance. <laughs> yeah, ex fiance. Yeah, that one. Because I, I think that Haley and Troy, their stuff in that is pretty hilarious. Like their their banter is great in that. Um, and then any of them with the JTP, that that always is uh, that's super <laughs> for me. Just seeing them going, just having a good time. I think okay, so 
there's one thing I need to say. I think you guys need to do, I don't think you guys could ever beat this, but a dinner, uh, going out to dinner, dinner with the Goldbergs, a part two, because that episode, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was, I'm not sure if you took, like, the ones who you talked to, it was kind of like a hard episode to pull off, but it, it yeah. became like one Everyone, of our- Everyone, when I mentioned it, they were like, oh, yep, that one. Yeah. <laughs> that one was, I can't imagine you guys filming that. I, I need to see the bloopers from that episode because- It was something, it was- Oh my gosh. It was long, so everyone at some point at or another would get tired and sitting at the table, the action and we get going and, but it was- yeah, it was good. I mean, and I I, well, I remember Adam saying he wanted to do that from, I, I don't know which season, like season two or something, but then needed, but then once it needed that relationship with Jeff Schwartz to yeah. really make it possible. And, yep. Yeah. So Adam, Adam needs to bring his girlfriend to dinner. Works <laughs> for a two. <laughs> there you go. Oh my gosh, you guys were so fantastic in that one. <laughs> that's well, like, it's like my comfort episode. Whenever that's on, I stop whatever. I'm like, oh, there we go. We got to watch dinner with the Goldberg. <laughs> <laughs> it's fantastic. Uh, what do you love most about the comedy genre? Um, well, I like that there's, that there you can be like, it doesn't have to be serious. I, like the kind of the base, I, thing of uh yeah I love that it's just kind of like people can really goof around on set you don't for the most part besides our third act you can you don't have to like hold back goofing around because someone's got to get into like a a really emotional spot for the most part so that that's always been fun um yeah and it's it's nice that when you're watching it you it's almost Cause like for the most part, I also, I watch it with my family and things. And so it's an easier thing to share too. Um, it, because it's like, we're, we're just trying to make you laugh. We're not, uh, <laughs> it's not trying to, I don't know. I don't know what else it could be doing, but, but yeah. So I, that, that's a nice thing too. I, I enjoy that. Um, so if, but I'm going to say when, because you guys got the fan base for it. When the show gets picked up for another season, um, are there any dream storylines you'd like for them to do either for Adam or just the show in general? Well, okay. I have, I thought of this before where I, I don't know if it was popular back then, but you know, those Rube Goldberg things. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking that it could be like a school project for, Adam and Dave Cam or something. I don't know why, but it, we, so it could be the cold open or something where it'd be a Rube Goldberg experiment and you wouldn't know where it's leading to, but at the very end, it just like rudely wakes up Barry. And so then Barry gets up like in a rage and, and has, and runs into something that could like keep it going or just to like smash cut for the end of the cold open <laughs> so i was thinking something like i thought that could be fun I, or, that would um, be funny. Oh my yeah God. definitely would like to see that i'm manifesting season nine so hopefully i love it, I love it. <laughs> there we go yeah. um if you had to use a phrase or one word to describe adam's growth throughout the series what would you pick and why well i'd have to say he's become more social I guess, because um, it started out where he was kind of, kind of just acquiring friends, but now he's kind of got more of a group, and he hangs out with the cool kids. Um, sometimes he kind of gets more cocky than he would. Like, well, there were some moments where he'd be cocky, as like in the early stuff, and I guess it just carried on. But um, yeah, he's. And he's just, and he's evidently more grown up. Like he just seems slightly, like he's more mature and some of his pastimes aren't, they're not all just like toys and video games. He's got more adult pastimes too, I guess. Sean, this was such a pleasure. This was such a fun interview. I enjoyed speaking to you so, so much. Well, thank you. Have a nice rest of your day. Stay safe. 
You have you too. You too. <laughs> Bye.